Coach Jared here from Fire Fitness Camp Fond du Lac. <laughs> hey, Coach Missy here. So, Jared and I are going to come at you today with an overhead squat assessment. So, a lot of us are stuck at home or we're not coming to the gym. Um, so, we want to help you guys kind of fix some of those muscle imbalances or troubles that you might be having during your off time. So, overhead squat assessment is one of the biggest tools that we use as certified trainers. Jared's ACSM, I'm NASM, and the important part about that is that coming to our facility, you're gonna get quality training that we know what we're talking about and we can help you correct some of these things. So we're gonna show you one of the tools we use in personal training to help uh, get things rolling in the right direction, I guess. So yeah. we're gonna start with an overhead squat assessment. I recommend doing these at home. You can have someone either take a picture or video you and we can kind of help you walk through it so you can help self-diagnose some of those things that might be happening in your normal movement patterns that'll help you get stronger and feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah. So overhead squat starts with uh, two views. It starts with the anterior view. So just looking straight on, Missy's going to put her hands above her head and she's going to start squatting. Um, and your goal uh, with overhead squat is basically it's going to put you in a position that's uncomfortable. It's going to put and pull in your joints in weird ways and it's going to basically augment any muscle imbalances that you might have. Uh, that way we can see it and that we, we know what we have to do. Uh, to fix you up basically, right? So she's one. I'm looking in this overhead view. I'm looking mostly at her feet and her knees, right? Are her knees caving in at all? Like that? Or are they being pushed out at all? Like that. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. That's mostly what I'm looking at uh, in this anterior view. I'm also looking at her hips, making sure they're even, making sure her hands stay above her head, and etc. etc. Um, the second view that lateral view. Jared's gonna give us a nice side uh, shot here. So he's gonna start squatting. I'm gonna start looking up at his neck area. I'm gonna see if his head is leaning too far forward or kind of sticking way up there. Or if he can keep his hands back. If his hands are falling forward and that's as far back as he can, that's something that we're gonna start correct in the upper back area. And then I'm gonna take a look at his lower back. Is it excessively arching? Or is it popping out and <laughs> rounding? <laughs> um, and then I'm going to start to look at his forward lean. So if you want to pause down at the bottom, I'm going to take a look at his spine and his tibia. If he naturally can't kind of keep those parallel as you would go up in a line here, that's going to be called an excessive forward lean. So that leads to a lot of lower back pressure. So when you're squatting, if you feel a ton in your lower back or uh, have any kind of pain there, it might be that you've got a little bit of an excessive forward lean, but the cool news is that we can give you some exercise to start to correct it. And last thing that I'm going to look at is his heels. Is he coming out on his toes or is he able to drill those heels down to the ground while being able to stay up in that good overhead squat? So those are some of the different kinetic chain checkpoints that we're going to look at when we're doing an overhead squat assessment on somebody. So I recommend having someone film you from the front and from the side. We would also do a rear view during a actual personal training session, but we don't need to get into that today. Uh, what else you got, Jim? Yeah, we're going to put out blogs specifically on little nitpicky things that we look at, um, as well as rolling out individual videos about what to do if you see certain things, um, stretches and exercises that you can do to help fix any muscle imbalances. Um, so yeah, we're going to really dive deep into it. And I promise if you go through the whole thing, and by the end of it, you, you're doing a great, perfect overhead squat. You're going to feel and you're going to move so much better than you would have otherwise. Um, For sure. So yeah. yeah. That's awesome. all I got. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Check it out.